but I won't blitz six here. Just give it another video on sighting. This is gonna be the type of telescope in the measurement they most likely use. A hunting telescope mostly likely have knobs or wheels that have left, right, up, and down on it. They use it as a middle of an angle. They use the middle as a division of a whole numbers. Basically, one is one, two is two, three is three. While telescopic sites or target sites that are not meant for hunting, they are usually have clicks on them where you can hear the clip and a lot of knobs. Usually the division is one four for one sixty. So when you're making adjustment, there's a specific formula you use for windage and height elevation. But this is not humidity or temperature or gravity or you already told you how the gravity one or another one. This is for windage and elevation. The formula is, is basically E equal R pi D plus F parenthesis slash R minus D plus F. Now some of these are minus, some of these are uppercase and lowercase. Basically, the R, the capital R is meant for range you want to zero in and the lowercase r range of where your error is and then the lowercase d is the drop in elevations for the arrow of r minus capital r and the capital d is for the capital r as in the sighting area where you want to zero in e is where where you want to get the elevation in or the windage in uh, how far over you got to go, how far up you got to go down, on where you got to aim it. There are some time that certain scopes or certain sites are meant to adjust at a certain distance. Most of the scope today is meant for 100 yards as perfect zero. So if you're zero in at 100 yards, if you want to shoot at 50 yards, I mean, you will have to take those adjustments and minus those adjustments based on how far back you wait, how far back you are from like what you zero at hundred yards, right? So you take those adjustments and have it at fifty yard, and then you you want to shoot at twenty five yards, then you quarter. But if you want to get away in thirty, you need to find the percentage of that within a hundred yards, and do that to the amount of clicks you did with the adjustment for windows and elevators. Sometimes. You don't have to do that. You just have to aim lower. If you shoot at 100 yard and you zero to shoot two up, and you want to shoot at 50 yards, then you need to shoot four down. Meaning you can two down your sight, but you don't have to four down your sight. You just need to aim two down where the bullet trajectory would go higher, higher than a line of sight by you aiming up, up higher than you normally would. It's something like that. Anyway. Complicated. Yeah, I know. Bye.